Now, the BBC Children Need Appeal exists to make a positive difference to the lives of disadvantaged children and young people across the UK. And one of the many charities that has benefited over the years is Drake Music Project NI. Uh, Drake Music provides access to independent music making for children and adults with all nature of different uh, different abilities. It's all about empowerment and independence. And to find out a bit more about what they do, I'm joined by Michelle McCormick, who started Drake Music in 1992, and Sean Gordon with his mum Mooring from Drumgath near Rathfrey. Island, who goes to the workshop. Thank you, all of you, for coming on the programme today. Uh, Michelle, can you tell me a little bit about what Drake Music do? Good morning, Stephen, and thank you very much indeed on this very important Children Need Weekend <coughs> for giving us the opportunity to share news about our project. And given everybody the date that I started it, you've now time-stamped my age, so I'm going to say to everybody I started it when I was five. <laughs> we, we are on, incredibly yeah. lucky. <laughs> Thanks for that, Stephen. We're incredibly lucky as musicians here in Northern Ireland to work with a project that in turn gets to work with incredibly special people. Special because of their talent, special because of their sense of self and because of the fact that regardless of the very many different challenges that each of them have to face on a daily basis, they get up, they get out and they come and they smile into a workshop where they can be be able or enabled to express themselves, to to develop a confidence, to show off their talent, to develop friendships. Our workshops empower, we engage with very many people and we set, I hope, a platform where a lot of people, including Sean, who we're about to chat Mm -hmm. to, one of our stars, have, as I say, the opportunity to be themselves, to feel a sense of achievement and to be as equal as everybody in their own community. Um, that's actually, we've got a wee clip of, of one of the workshops um, and let's hear a little bit of it just to get a sense of what happens at one of the, the, the Drake Music Workshops. Michelle, tell me a little bit about what we're hearing in that clip. In, in the clip that, that we've submitted today, this is actually, Stephen, the second time that this group of young teenagers met in a music situation, literally only the second time. They're in this workshop working together to learn to play on pulse, to learn to take turns, to learn to, to give each other their space <clears throat> as they each play their chimes, to keep to the beat and to share the space with each other. So, So the sense of... A sense of self and also peer association are two of the main keys of the Children in Need grant that actually affords this workshop to be able to be staged. Sean, um, you take part in, in the, 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 the workshops and the sessions. Um, were you interested in playing music before you got involved with the Drake Music Project? Yes. I mean... And I... What kind of instrument? I mean, I, I know that there's a lot of different instruments that are played in the group, but what, what are you playing at the moment? I play a ukulele. Have you ever played the ukulele before? Well, no. And, and I mean, in terms of learning that, how's it going for you? Because I had to go on a ukulele before and I was absolutely terrible at it. How are you getting on with the ukulele? Oh, super. <laughs> I mean, I mean, tell me a bit about the sessions. I mean, what's it like for you going down and playing music with other people? Well, it's amazing. I love going down because Nikos is a very, very good teacher. He is so funny. I love him so much. I mean, I mean, and obviously then you, there's other people who are taking part. Do you kind of form friendships with the rest of, of, of the people at the sessions? Yes, I do. Um, Maureen, I... Uh, you, 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 this is your son going to these projects, and I wonder what kind of impact it's had on Sean for you. I mean, have you, have you, have you seen him change as he's been involved in the project? Yes, um, I would say he's become more interested in music, and he's uh, built up a wee friendship with that group. And to see them all playing together is totally amazing. We as parents sit in in the session every week. And I personally find it very uplifting and inspiring to see and hear them all working as a team. And the buzz and the atmosphere is unbelievable because they are so happy. Their teacher, Nikos, is a true gentleman who is absolutely fantastic with each and every one of them. He's just amazing as his respect, dedication and patience is very evident. 
They all love it, listen attentively, take turns and have the highest respect for him as he does for each of them. He definitely brings the best out of this group. Most of all, they all have fun and a laugh while being taught their music. I would say there's three Ds that are very prevalent in this group. Discipline, determination and dedication. Sure. One mommy actually uh, said that they would be ready for an X factor. Dreams <laughs> do happen. And as they say, dream, believe and achieve. And we really have to... Um, say that Nicholas is a true gentleman who is absolutely fantastic with every one of them. His patience and dedication is unbelievable. And I just have to thank Michelle and Nicholas and say, as part of the group, and I'm speaking on behalf of all the mommies, we are very blessed and thankful for all they've done for these young adults. I'm not joking you, when you're in that room, it is just very inspiring and very uplifting. Well, even all. watching the clip uh, of, of the, the, the group performing music, the, you can see that it's like a wave of enjoyment spreading through the people as, the, as they get into it. And Sean, I mean, as you say, there's there's that interest in music that you have. I, I, I gather you were at a concert last night, weren't you? Yes, I was. Who were you going to see? Uh, I saw Nathan Carter. Any chance of, of Nathan getting you up with your ukulele just for a couple of songs? Well, you never know. That could all <laughs> happen. Watch this face. Huh? Oh, keep, what? This videos. Keep us posted. Keep us. I, I, I pay good money to see that. Um, Michelle, um, tell us a bit about because this is this is the, the kind of behind lifting the lid up off the, the thing. You know, the, people donate money to children in need. I think it's filtered out to so many charities. How is that children in need money spent, and what kind of difference does it make to running a project like this? Well, I, I think, Stephen, there's no better words there than those from Sean and Maureen oh, telling us just exactly, you know, what the project means to them. We we are in an incredibly lucky position. 31 years of being able, as I say, to work with incredibly talented people who take nothing for granted and who work with such dedication. <laughs> all of our tutors as well as all of our musicians who attend. Children in Need were actually, when I started 31 years ago, starting a project like this, the first thing you have to start to try and do is learn to become a fundraiser and pull in some funds to be able to engage people. Children in Need actually gave me the very first grant. That was the first grant that I landed as a fundraiser here in Northern Ireland. And they have been an incredible supporter of our work for the last 31 years. The difference on the ground, the sense of self, the engagement, the empowerment, the friendship and, and the, the learning that everyone has the right to belong and be equal in their own community is at the core of what we do. And that is absolutely at the core of Children in Need's drive to make a difference, to, to give exactly the same opportunities to all of those young people and young adults in our own communities to allow them to be able to engage in the same terms as someone who doesn't face the same challenges that they may have on a daily basis. I genuinely cannot express enough of a heartfelt thank you to Children in Need for their 31 years of support. And I would say to everyone who's listening, if you are in a position this weekend to be able to donate, please do. Because as you can hear with Sean and Maureen, the difference that it makes is absolutely huge in very, very local ways and individual ways to children and teenagers right next door to you in your own town, in your own village, in your own community and right here on the ground in Northern Ireland. It's such a powerful testimony and thank you so much to, to all of you for joining me on the programme today. That was Michelle McCormick of Drake Music and Sean Gordon and his mum Maureen talking to me there.